GPS doesn't lie. Hey, Audi, hey, come on over. What is this place? A gun range? I asked you guys if you wanted to go shooting at the range. I thought you meant shooting, like, pics for my Insta. What did you think range meant? Oh, I thought, like, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play. Well, there's no deer here. Except, except for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this guy, too. You should try this. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's get started. I know. We don't like guns, remember? I can't have you turning into some sort of crazy gun nut. This is not good for our marriage. We've been seeing a marriage counselor. She says my texification is unfair to timpani, so. You found a marriage counselor in Texas who uses the word texification? She's, She's in, in Austin. Austin. That makes sense. If you guys are anti-gun like you say you are, wouldn't it be better if you could speak from a place of experience? Yes. I mean, it's okay, it's cool, whatever, don't be. Well, I do suppose it would be good to say that I've shot a gun so I know how bad it is. Now listen, I've got some good stuff for you. All right, come on over here, come on. Ladies first. Hey, uh, can we get these guys started with a couple of Glock 17s? Can you hook us up? And here's your, um, here's your eyes, and here's your ears. Safety gear, hey. that seems very responsible. Mm. Oh yeah, gun safety is the most important thing. Okay, let's head on in. I'll show you guys the ropes. Always keep your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Always assume it's loaded, which we now refer to as the Alec Baldwin rule. Mm -hmm. And never walk down range until all firearms are laid on the table with the actions open. I don't get some of those words. But that also sounds very responsible. But did you think we were just gonna run around here and shoot the guns <laughs> off everywhere like a bunch of crazy gun nuts? <laughs> I don't know. I would never call you a crazy gun nut. But you did say you didn't want Steve to become a crazy gun nut. I don't think so. That doesn't sound like me. No, that sounds sounds just like you. I heard you say it. Yeah, he said it. Let's get y'all started. Is that a fully semi-automatic single hollow point assault machine gun? Um. Is that a 30 magazine clip? No, that's an eight bullet round. That's what it is. Break yourself, fool! We don't do that here. All right, all guns on the table. Let's see how we did. Hey, Steve, I'm pretty impressed over there. Did I do well? Uh, well, it looks like you missed every shot. That's quite an accomplishment. Well, where'd all my bullets go? We don't know. We only know where they did not go. That must happen all the time for beginners and all. <laughs> no, no, I've never seen that before. I'm not, not even uh, with beginners. I went looking, Timpani, actually, you got all your hits on the paper. Really? Mm-hmm. Even some of Steve's hits your paper. That's impressive, Steve. Never seen that before either. I didn't think it would smell so much. Well, that's the gunpowder. Well, I don't like guns, so I definitely don't like that smell. Well, all right, folks, you want to go again? Yes! I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool. Sorry. No, it's no, big. No, it's cool. Well, looks like Steve missed every shot again, but Timpani hit every shot, and there's even a couple in the bullseye this time. Yeah. Oh, but Steve, none of your shots hit Timpani's target this time, so you're getting closer. Or even further away. Dang, nabbit! I really thought I was getting the hang of this Texas thing. Well, you said dang nabbit. That's something. It is. Well, you know, handguns are the hardest ones to shoot accurately. You guys want to try some ARs? I guess we can give it a Let's try. Let's do it! Oh. Hey, nabbit. I missed them all again. Well, Temp, you should be relieved. There's no way I'm gonna become a gun nut now. <laughs> but. Good. 
These AR-15s are just wrong. There's no reason that anyone should have a need to own one of these things. But if one were to buy one, where would be the best place to do that? So what kind of gun is that? Uh, it's a price gun. Hey Babylon Bee fans, I have a big announcement that is not satire. We wrote an actual book that has actual drawings with actual humor and you can actually buy it with actual money. This is the Babylon Bee Guide to Democracy. It's your guide to rigging elections, peaceful protests and insurrections, and more. Pick it up today.